Hey guys, this is EDI First from Airsoft Forum and Airsoft Mechanics. Today it's gonna be another unboxing video, as you can see. Uh, but to start off, I got two, two of two of the guns um, in face to face. So I'm just gonna show you guys that those two right now. And on top, as you can see, it's a uh, Tokyo Mari Extreme 45. Now the slide is outside because the guy upgraded it with a uh, garter slide. And as far as the, the stock slide goes, as you can see, it's pretty new. Some little um, dirt and just minor wear on the catch. But otherwise, this slide is pretty much new. And there's no orange tip. All right, now let's get to the gun itself. Uh, yep, yeah, unfortunately, he did paint it a little bit. But it's not too bad, you know. It's just paint, nothing that you cannot remove later on and honestly gold with gold actually goes with black but probably do a just paint it again you know give you a better finish um a little bit of wear tear but it's all pretty nice in pretty good condition and uh the thing if you don't know it's short stroked the slide catch does not engage at all there's a screw inside to prevent the slide catch from going upwards even when the magazine is empty and the best part about this thing is it's fully automatic. Now, uh, just to sh show you guys, I got, you know, regular Max, just ignore that. And this is what it looks like with uh, Pro Wing Max. And this Max are pretty nice. You can dump anywhere from 60 to 80 rounds. Um, some of the, some automatic. I uh, haven't tried with this one yet. And here's the 50 round Tokyo Mario Mag. Still that pretty aggressive looking. And just try to uh, fire a few shots with the Pro Wing Mags. Fill, fill up real quick. Propane. Okay. Making sure it's clear. As you can see, the slide catch does not engage at all. Okay, I think that's low on gas. Yeah, it's low on gas. But yeah, pretty awesome. And the mag is uh, <laughs> freezing cold now, of course. And still keep going. Oh, there it is. But yeah, pro mags. If you're a big fan about hack pass or you know, anyway, 4.3, 5.0, whatever, Get one of these if you can. Uh, I believe Airsoft GI has them now. Otherwise, get them from overseas like WGC and so on. Okay, put this back. And next here, um, I actually already sent this to a friend of mine to do some work on, just changing grip and some minor cleaning. But as you can see, it's a Talking Mario High Kappa. He has the manual, paperwork, and so on in there. Now to the gun itself. It's just a standard 4.3. Um, I changed the grip out to a KJW slash Tanya Koba grip. Because the original grip... <laughs> this is the original grip that was on there. So, uh, Pink and white. Okay, that they'll work if you do it properly, but obviously it's not done properly. But so that's why I changed it out and just test it real quick. Chamber clear. Film bag. Probably mag. And this is the same why it's it's frozen cold right now. Okay. Pretty awesome. Yep, so it works. It works. And the mag is getting even colder. Well, anyway. Alright, so just uh, 4.3 high kappa, nothing too fancy. No photo. But it's a, it's a working nice gun. And again, hey, you know, original box, manual, and everything. Pretty good. Alright, let's so move, move this to the side. And let me take the mags away. 
So we actually have space for the boxes. Okay. And we don't need a purple anymore. Okay, let's start off on the smaller one first. Got my knife, I need to sharpen this, but it works for now. Bubble wrap, and all right. So here they are. Uh, Molly adapter for Serpa, and of course I do have a Serpa. It's for my Glock, but yep, Molly adapter, and let's see what's next. Another Harry style bipod. I have so many rifles, but I don't have enough bipod for any of them, like barely. So here's another Harry style bipod, pretty straightforward. And this is a spring loaded type that shoots out instead of retracting. But anyway. And here's a drop leg adapter for, again, Serpa. So, yeah, pretty much getting stuff to mount my Serpa other than just, you know, holding on my belt. But anyway, so that's what's in this box. I'll put this back. Next box, uh, let's say, which one should we do first? Let's do, hmm, hmm, let's just do this one, whatever. No, it is not GMP, unfortunately, again. Yeah, I know. God, these people, they all ship guns to me inside GMP boxes. I want more GMP SR25s, more of them. You can never have enough. Okay, put this over. See what's in here. Packing material, go away. I don't want to see you. Not now. Alright. <laughs> A pack of uh, screws and nuts, but that's what they are. Okay. And from here, you should start grabbing an idea of what's in here. Uh, this is the. Um, actually, yeah, this is the chick rest. For a sniper rifle. This is a a, a pre bam bolt for from the Tanaka M700. It's missing a screw, but it's okay, I got plenty of those. With a VSR or King Arm VSR chamber nozzle, the nozzle to a common day with that. And here is a, it's a little bit loose, but here is a GNG high power bolt. This is the outer barrel. And I can tell you right now, no, unfortunately, I don't have a whole gun in there. This is just for uh, parts. And here is probably what a lot of people have been looking for. And yeah. This is a the Tanaka M700 AIC stock in 10. Pretty straightforward. I will be swapping uh, this with my other one because that one is using a GMG shell, but everything else is a uh, Tanaka. So this is just what it's for. But yeah, pretty straightforward. Nothing too rare, I suppose, but it's a nice stuff. Okay. 
and the screws are to hold the shells together and I believe these two are used to hold uh, the hop up and well the receiver in general down in place but yeah that's what's in this box close it Oh, it doesn't sound packed too securely, but hopefully it won't be like the last time with that M700. Cutting in the box. Oops, just step on the bubble wrap. Oh, did I not cut this through? Oh, damn, shame on me. Okay, now let's cut through. Uh, it's a uh, effed up Tokyo Mari box. But it's okay. I got more of them. <laughs> I don't know why I just have this all this stuff that I have. Okay. A Tokyo Mari M4 train marser carver with tape. Pretty straightforward, just a basic M4. Oh, I love how that just works, you know. Some guns you have to put so many times. As you can see, this thing is pretty much brand new. Like Oh, hey, there's a bearing there. Uh, let's see. Well, yeah, hold on. Let me peel the cover for the tray marks away. Ah, the tray marks are in fact intact. This is not just some cover up. You know, some, some, some douchebags. They got their tray marks removed and they, they put this tape on there to make people think that they're still there. I got tape over my hand now. Alright, good enough. Oh, hey. <laughs> tape is covering like every single Tokyo Mari trademark they can find. Okay, so you do a little bit of cleanup, but there it is. The, the you know U.S. government trademarks Colts, pretty nice. I mean, this gun is pretty much new. Gearbox is pretty awesome. Doesn't look sick. Oh, this whole gun is new. So does does that bury your power in there? Oh hey, did you hear that, Marui, right there? You see how smooth it sounds? And this is a stock Marui. And uh, A4 or 9.6, they'll last you years. Just don't do anything stupid and plug in LiPo. Oh, I should totally just change the stock to my... Uh, what's, what stock is that? STR? I can't remember. Pretty awesome. <laughs> okay, what else is in here? I think this is a box supposed to be for the charger, but... Obviously, it's no longer in there. Uh, manual, paperwork, targets. I love these targets. More manual. Uh, clear speed loader. Uh, okay, so apparently the guy bought it from Evike. Uh, well, I know his name now, but doesn't matter. I knew that from <laughs> uh, PayPal. Does it say the date when this was older? Uh, apparently not. But he got his fine e-bike. Huh, interesting. 
I don't know. Maybe the Steel Heavy style. I just never pay attention to <laughs> E-Bike. But hey, it's pretty awesome. Plastic receiver, but who cares? I mean, it, it it's solid. It literally is solid. Minor wobble, but that's expected. Oh, oh Maurice. I can just change out the other barrel and be fine because it, it does have uh, multi-pieces. Uh, there's a piece that goes in here. And then the barrel, the, the other section, outer barrel kind of just slides in. And you use screws to hold it down. So, no, it's going to wobble. But pretty much brand new. <laughs> With the trim marks intact. Oh, the ping. Oh, okay. As you can see, right there, made in Japan, SGK. Oh my god, it's pretty awesome. Haven't seen a brand new. Maruri AG for <laughs> quite a while because you know most people just get them used like myself but <laughs> this is pretty amazing hey how did you change the stock right now huh it's like a 30 second job maybe I need a screwdriver for this uh do I have a screwdriver around me sorry for making this video so long I'm just excited for getting Maruri in this kind of condition. Well, whatever, just take this off first. Yeah, which, oh yeah, it is an STR stock. I was correct! Why, why can't I find a screwdriver around me? That's a shame on me. I should have a screwdriver next to me all the time. Oh, here it is. Do I need to go to the other side? Stock does not want to go. Oh, there it is. Alright, so. <laughs> new stock already. And for the front end, I got a pretty good idea what I'm going to do. Some of you may like it, rest of you may not, but who cares? But I don't remember where I put that thing yet. Oh, here it is. Found it. <laughs> Oops. That's what I'm going to do. King Arm CSV. Probably <laughs> one of my favorite hangar. We want to call it Riz, but whatever. Yeah, this will actually look pretty nice. I mean, if you guys have seen my other M4, uh, this is the setup that I have, the STR stock, and the CS3, except the body is a GMP Magpul. So, okay. So, hey, here's this uh, unboxing video. Sorry for making it so long again. This is that first. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. I'll be making a video on the giveaway right after this one. So, Stay tuned. Thank you.